Hi guys, welcome to Pencil College. In this video, we'll be looking at some examples okay, for the addition formulae. Okay, so in example number one, we're asked to show that the sine of pi over 2 minus theta is equals to cosine of theta. Okay, so in order to show this, I will first work with the left hand side of the equation. Okay, and I will be applying the first formula you see over here. So consider, okay, or rather the left hand side is equals to the sine of pi over 2 minus theta, okay, which uh, can be broken up to sine pi over 2 times cosine theta minus cosine of pi over 2 times sine of theta. Okay, so actually I'm just using a first formula and I can identify in this case my a to be pi over 2 and my b to be theta. Okay. Okay, and recall also that in the earlier chapters, we have learned that the sine of pi over 2, okay, is actually a special angle or rather a part of a special triangle and it's just 1. Okay, so if you have forgotten this, you can check this using your calculator. And the cosine of pi over 2 is actually just 0. Okay, so if I replace them, okay, so sine of pi over 2 is just 1. Okay, and uh, cosine of pi over 2 is just 0. Okay, so if I were to simplify this, I'll just arrive at cosine of theta, shown. Okay, so let's move on to example number 2. Okay, example number 2 says, without using a calculator, find the sine of 105 degrees. Okay, so how should we do that? So recall that the sine of 105 degrees okay, can be actually broken up into sine of 180 degrees minus 75 degrees. However, okay, by doing this, okay, it will not be very useful because there is no way we can break this down or we, there is no way that we can break this down. Okay, because neither of these are part of any special triangle. Okay, so this is sort of just to get you thinking, okay, or, or, or get you thinking as to what to use, okay, or how to um, break down the number 105. Okay, so if you were to think about it further, actually 105 degrees can be broken down to 60 degrees plus 45 degrees. Okay, so 105 is actually 60 plus 45 degrees. Now why did I choose 60 and 45 degrees? Because in the earlier chapter of, cha uh, in chapter 12 rather, you learn that 60 degrees and 45 degrees are special angles of two very special triangles, okay? One triangle that has uh, something that looks like this, okay, and another triangle that has some, uh, that, I mean, that kind of look like this, okay, whereby this is an isosceles triangle and this is just 45 degrees. Okay, so these are the sp two special triangles that we'll be dealing with in this example. So let me just break this down, okay, using the addition formula. I'll be using formula, the first formula here. Okay, so sine of 60 degrees plus 45 degrees can be broken down into sine of 60 degrees cosine of 45 degrees plus cosine of 60 degrees sine of 45 degrees. Okay, so I sort of identified in this case my A to be 60 and my B to be 45 degrees okay and then and then using the ideas of special angles okay let me just write down a, a list of uh, of a list of rather uh, how these can be broken down okay so let me just write here okay so the sine of 60 degrees is just root 3 over 2 and the cosine of 60 degrees is just half okay on the other hand, the sine of 45 degrees is actually just root 2 over 2 and this is also similar for the cosine of 45 degrees, okay, which is also root 2 over 2. Okay, so I'm going to replace all these with the values you see over here. So sine of 60 is root 3 over 2, cosine of 45 is root 2 over 2, cosine of 60 is half and uh, sine of 45 is root 2 over 2. Okay, so simplifying all these, okay, uh, I realize that I have a common denominator that sort of being, that, that sort of uh, created. Okay, so 
If I were to just simplify this, okay, I'll have root 3 times root 2 plus root 2 over 4. Okay, and root 2 can be factorized, so you have root 3 plus 1 over 4. Okay, and this is your final answer. Okay, for the answer that you see in the, at the bottom right hand corner of the screen, okay, it has yet to be to be uh, rationalized. Okay, so if you rationalize this, this answer you see here, you will also get the same answer as what you see, uh, what, what I've just done. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video um, for more examples for the addition formula. See you for now.